I've seen a lot of people worry about age to the extent to where they will ruin their dating lives. The biggest things I get are from guys in their 30s and 40s thinking that it's over for them, not understanding that there is a way that they can maximize and even extend their peak. Where they think that they had the best options, where they think that they had the most attraction with women, is actually completely screwing them over. So in this video right now, I'm gonna be comparing the peaks of women to men in attractiveness, in sexual market value. I've been a professional wingman for six years, been in the industry now for 10. My job is to make men attractive to women. And in this video right now, I'm gonna show you guys how you can extend your sexual peak. I am a king, give me the throne. I need a queen, she better than most. I need a what I wanted to give you guys was my view and take on this chart that I've been seeing distributed around the internet as of late. Do I think that you should be basing your sexual market value off this chart alone? If this is true, what does this mean for your sex life? What does this mean for you finding a partner? Is it too late for you or is your peak just beginning? I just turned 33 months ago and I've only seen better and better results year after year up to this point. I've known guys that are in their 50s who are actually still crushing it with women, who are throwing big mansion parties, who have gorgeous girls and models around them all the time, who are throwing these incredible parties, hanging around high quality people. If you wanna be one of those kind of guys, unfortunately, you're gonna put in a lot of work. If you wanna be this guy, you have to learn to love the process of what it takes to become that guy. If you don't love it and you don't fully lean into it, you're never gonna become him. But us men, we are a sex of extremes where women have stability and safety, men, we live on either one side of the polar opposites. Either we're thriving or we're starving. There isn't much in the way of in-betweens for men. Men have the highest suicide rates, homelessness. We also have most billionaires and millionaires. And in the same way, on the sexual market value, men are either absolutely fucking wrecking it or having no results whatsoever. And this is exasperated by the internet. The internet is pushing these two groups further and further away. The thing with you, the thing you wanna do is, you wanna get into this camp over here. You wanna make sure that you're doing everything in your power to get into that top 1%, the top 10% of guys. So let me just jump right into it. So this is the sexual market value chart that I found online. And I think it's decently accurate. I think there are some flaws with it, which I'll get into right now. I think it's funny that a lot of men think that they peaked at 20 to 24. But what they're doing is they're looking at women and their attractiveness and they're saying that must be what is in store for me. Not knowing that men and women are completely fucking different. The fact that women carry babies and men don't has changed everything. And honestly, this is a really good take on what I'm talking about. So unfortunately, what really matters for a girl is her looks. Not 100%, don't get me wrong, but women are a lot more judged on their looks than men are. Whereas men are judged on their status, on their confidence, on their ability to speak, on their ability to lead, their, their tribe, their expressiveness, their masculinity, their ability to make jokes and not take her seriously, to know their value. And in this case, men usually peak at a certain age. Men usually peak 35 to 40, but some men can extend it past this and some men will never even reach their peak. Some men actually peak right the fuck here. And that's the most depressing story of this all. Some men peak at 20 and never getting better. To be fair, they're probably like this the rest of their life. And that's a terrible way to go but it's because they never worked on themselves. You're watching this video, you're somebody that works on yourself. So you are destined to be here. As long as you continue to work on yourself, when you seek the answers, you'll find them. I cannot remember the quote and I'm totally butchering it. You don't have victim mentality, you have winner mentality. You're focused on that which you control, not that which you can't. And that's why you're more likely to reach this peak. Now, if you are past this peak, don't worry. You can extend this. The biggest thing about being an older gentleman is a few things. One, lifestyle, friends, your purpose and your ability to keep it charismatic, witty, to be socially aware. I've seen a lot of guys where they don't keep pushing their envelope, where they don't keep pushing their, their minds, where they aren't hitting the gym, where they aren't pushing themselves to continually succeed and look for new and higher tiers of success. And their brain eventually turns to pudding and they start doing dad jokes. They start making, they, they lose the life behind their eyes and little by little, they just crash. You can extend this. The best way I found to preserve your peak and keep yourself running at a high octane level for a lot longer is to work on the four pillars. The four pillars are as follows. Work on your charisma, keeping yourself social, making sure that you're witty and funny and that you are grounded and masculine. The next point is dating apps, getting on dating apps and make sure they're really polished. Secondly, work on your purpose, your body, your fashion, your speaking, your, your skills, developing things that make you, that, that are tangible anchors for why you're of value. And lastly, developing a social circle. Get around a social circle where there's attractive girls. Get to a city where there's 
attractive women. Get around guys that feed you, that love you, that care about you, that are also socially aware. They're also very cool and charismatic. These guys will bleed into you and you'll bleed into them. So here's my thing about this chart. Most men don't hit this peak. And to be fair, I think the peak's more down here and I think girls have more of a spike. But some men living the right lifestyle can even spike past women. So there's a small percentage of guys, again, it's a, we're a sex of extremes. Some men will shoot way the hell up here. And then some men are gonna flounder and be all the way down here by the time they hit 40. It's, it's a terrible lifestyle. Everybody wants to be up here on some level. So it's a competitive place to be. But if you have the right strategies involved, you can increase this and even elongate this if you know what you're doing. The good news is most men don't know they can do this. So with that in mind, you have no competition. As long as you do the things that I mentioned in this video right here. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, I am a king, I need a throne. Get on a track and I kill it, I'm gone. Never gonna get me out of my zone. Everyone always calling my phone. Sending a song they want me on. I be saying, no, we are not the same. I'ma let them know, run up in the game. Never lose control. I've been on my way. I'm